Marissa DeGroote is here from the Dan County Humane Society with our Pets of the Week. Welcome back. Hello. Who yep. do we have here? We've got uh, Uncle Jack and Atticus, the Finches. Ah, of course. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so these brothers here, they are uh, young adult finches. They're only about seven months old. Um, and finches can live anywhere between about four to seven plus years. So they're, they're just they, young guys. They're just beautiful. Oh, they're absolutely gorgeous. They are actually zebra finches. And if they, you can, they turn a little bit, you can see that black and white striping on their chest. Mm -hmm. um, and the boys uh, are generally even more vibrant. So their colors are absolutely gorgeous. And they were surrendered. They were surrendered. Um, and they are looking to go home together because finches like having a partner. They're not a bird that really likes a lot of toys, which is why you don't see a lot of those hanging in here mm -hmm. um, but they they entertain each other and uh, they're doing yeah. a little grooming of each other <laughs> yeah. right now too that's brotherly love right there oh yeah and this is just a travel cage you need a cage much larger than this yep so they need a cage large enough that, so they can fly a little bit but they fly more horizontally so you need a wider cage rather than a tall one um, but really they can be a pretty low maintenance pet um, they don't need to take up a ton of space they entertain each other um, but you do have to like a bit of singing they're they're, they're finches they make some noise. Yep, oh. so they're pretty chatty. Hey, hey, hey. They're a little quieter <laughs> right now, but in the shelter, you can hear them singing all the way down the hallway. Well, I would find that so soothing. Mm -hmm. I, I think it just brightens up the place, and they are very chatty, too. They like to talk to each other a lot. Well, that's great. They, <laughs> I, I love birds. Yep, these, these are gorgeous guys, too. And you have a special resident right now. We do. Uh, young Billie Jean, she was found stray. Um, she's a dachshund chihuahua mix. She was found stray wandering down East Washington Avenue. Um, and she came in and we quickly realized that she actually has a genetic condition um, where both of her back kneecaps slide around in place causing a uh, joint disease. And eventually it could cause her to lose, lose uh, the ability to use her back legs completely. So right now we are trying to raise some funds to get this sweet pup, the surgery that she needs um, in order to be mobile, happy, and chasing those tennis balls around for years to come. And she's young, she long life ahead. Young. Oh yeah. So how can people help? So um, we, we've already raised uh, almost everything we need. We we're asking uh, for $4,200 in order to get her the surgery, scans and follow up care she needs. And we are almost there. We only need to raise a thousand more dollars to keep this pup running for years. So just go on the website and you can donate there. Yep, and you can read her whole story and donate to her care. And we are so grateful for the help of the community to be able to, to help this pup. Let's help Billie Jean. Last week? Yep. Last week, oh, those guys. Oh, they, the very hungry guinea pigs. The very hungry <laughs> guinea pigs, Gypsy and Pearl, and they did find a home. Great. Um, and so so did so many of our other guinea pigs, but we do have a, one bonded pair left. All right, and these two guys. Mm-hmm. Let's get finches. Atticus and Uncle Jack a great home. <laughs> they are wonderful birds. All right, Marissa, thank you. Thank you. Go to the website, giveshelter.org, 838-0413.